Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. I wanted to introduce you to the March limited edition red rubber set from Impression Obsession. This is for March 2023. And uh, here are the beautiful images that come in the set. There is um, a really lovely uh, coneflower image with a butterfly. Here is a maybe a hibiscus um, or maybe it is a petunia. Uh, with a butterfly here. There's a little cluster of butterflies. Here is like a globe thistle with a butterfly. And then there's two sen or three sentiments, thinking of you, thank you, and then one up here at the very top, just because. So these um, images are really beautiful. And here's the really nice uh, red rubber quality of the stamps that you get from Impression Obsession. So always really, really great. And you also get the set um, in this uh, plastic clam shell as well and it comes with some additional uh, marketing inserts as well. Let me go ahead and show you the cards that I made. I have three cards to share with you. Uh, let's see, which one do I want to start with first? I'm going to start with this purple thistle. Uh, so this is the first card and you can see I've watercolored it. I've stamped it on watercolor paper, watercolored it with some really light purple and light green uh, watercolor pigments. Uh, you might be able to see the real shimmer and shine across here, all those little polka dot splatters. Those are with my metallic watercolors. And um, here in the background, I've stamped one of the cover of cards. This is the Broken Chain Link, I think it's called, Broken Chain Link um, cover of card. You can see it just barely stamped here in the background. And I love doing that just, uh, just to add a little bit of interest in the background there of my cards. So really fun little uh, loose, twine bow on this one and I think that card turned out really really cute really pleased with that one and some beautiful purple paper there in the background as well here's my second card using the same color um, pattern I did paint my uh, cone flowers here kind of like a um, southwestern style of cone flower color and the butterfly I colored purple I used that same broken chain link cover a card and then in addition to the thank you sentiment here I also stamped uh, the other sentiment thinking of you um, just kind of randomly in the background to add a little bit more interest there so I think this card turned out really cute as well again that pretty purple paper there and you can even see that broken chain link down here on the card base and of course I used my uh, tracing wheel uh, to add lots of little faux stitching lines and I'm really enjoying that process. A cute little bow up here at the top with some cotton lace and a very sweet little vintage button there as well. So I think this card turned out really cute. And then finally, uh, the third card that I have to share with you is this one here and it uses that, um, I'm going to go with uh, petunia flower in uh, the uh, petunia image from the set and again it's stamped on watercolor paper and watercolored with watercolor pigments and if you can see all kinds of shimmer on there as well lots and lots of shimmer so and uh, here I use one of those cute little wooden buttons from Amazon some cotton lace and another cute little twine bow there so really super fun and easy card to make. Other, another thing I wanted to share with you guys, I don't know if you can tell in here, but there's a little extra, extra shimmer. Maybe you can see it on the wooden heart. Um, it does have a, just a slight bit of um, glitter to it. And funny thing, um, I was cleaning out my bathroom cabinet the other day. This one has it too. I don't know if you were, you're going to be able to tell, but it has a really beautiful little shimmer to it. So I was cleaning out my bathroom cabinet the other day and I came across this uh, Shimmer Vanilla Wishes. This is from, I think it's from Bath and Body Works, but maybe not. Because um, it doesn't actually say. Jean Philip Francis, LLC. I, I have no idea where this came from. <laughs> um, Shimmering Body Mist, Vanilla and Brown Sugar. Yeah, I have no idea what brand this is, but um, I thought I don't wear this. Um, it's really, really glittery um, and uh, is, you know, sure, it might be something fun for summertime, but um, 
you know, I don't need to be wearing glitter on me all the time. So I thought, what could I do with this? I wonder if this would be good on my craft projects. And oh my gosh, what do you know it is? It's actually really, really beautiful. It's kind of like the shimmer sprays uh, or the glitter sprays that I love so much. Um, it just has a really, really fine, fine shimmer and I can't actually rub it off. It's on there. So I'm going to be using this on my cards. Um, I noticed because it is a water-based product, I do have to be um, fairly careful, especially if I'm spraying uh, pattern papers or anything like that, because it can actually lift the paper, um, cause it to look like little uh, speckles on there. Um, and it, and it, since it is water-based also, it can move your watercolor-based uh, products. But I thought for a quick little spritz, it's wonderful. So those cards um, have already been spritzed with it. So let me show you on this one how I actually went about using it. So I just laid my little towel down here. And this is just a little tea towel that I use to, you know, clean my brushes and um, clean my stamps once I've used them as well, like my larger cover card stamps. So here's the card. You can probably see the little um, splatters of the watercolor uh, shimmer on there. So I'm just going to take this bottle here and I'm going to hold it quite a bit of ways, probably about 12 inches or so, just because I don't want to get a huge big blast of product on here. So I'm just going to hold it up here about 12 inches away and give it a couple of spritzes. And you might be able to see it's drying up here. You can probably see it when it got wet and now it's drying. And now the whole card has a really beautiful shimmer to it. So I don't know that this is, um, you know, all that great to use on paper products. I certainly wouldn't use it on anything that you're expecting to be archival because I'm sure that it is not. Um, but, you know, it's perfectly okay to use on our skin. So it does have all kinds of weird ingredients, of course. Um, but I figured why not use it? for something that I'm going to get great enjoyment out of instead of just spritzing, spritzing it on my skin in the summertime. So <laughs> I thought that was a really fun idea. If you happen to have any uh, body, sh body shimmers like this in your um, bathroom closet, maybe pull them out and see how they work on paper for you. So these are my three cards. Thank you so much for watching my video and um, check out the inspiration uh, from the other designers that are on the Impression Obsession team. They have lots of beautiful samples made with this set. And uh, I'll also have links down below to the Impression Obsession site, as well as my blog where you can find uh, information about uh, the monthly set. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy my cards and I'll talk to you later. Bye.